Hi, Aqua Rumors. It's time for a picture story. This book is great. And it's a cat in a hat. I can read book. There's no place like space. So not only are we going to learn about space, I have got real pictures to show you. So, ready? Here we go. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. So Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. And this is a picture of what Mercury really looks like. If you were standing on the planet, Ooh. Burning hot on one side, freezing cold on the other. It kind of looks like the moon a little bit, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. That is Mercury. Now remember, there are nine planets. Let's see which one is next. Venus. On Venus. The weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It's my home and home to thing one and thing two. So, let's see what it looks like if you were standing on Venus. Whoa. Oh my goodness. It is hot and rocky and dry and dusty. There may be lots of lightning, but no rain. That is Venus. So first was Mercury, then Venus, and then, our planet, Earth. You've been living on it, on Earth, each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day, and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, cause we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. So we've done Mercury, Venus, Earth, and next is Mars. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. You want to see a picture of Mars? Wow. So satellites took these pictures a long time ago. Yeah. Look at that. A satellite in space 
took that picture of Mars. And Mars has a nickname. They call Mars the Red Planet. It's red. And as the story says, it is the color of rust. All right, here we go. We're learning. Fun story. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all the other planets combined. So if you took all the planets and put them together, Jupiter is the biggest of all. You ready? Wow. It is huge. And Jupiter actually has a red eye. Mm -hmm. But it's really just a big ball of gas. And gas is like air. So you couldn't stand on Jupiter. It would just be like being in a cloud. Yeah, the whole planet. It's fascinating. Saturn is next. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink. Did you know that Saturn was very light and didn't weigh very much? I didn't either. But I wanted to show you if the rings themselves in Saturn... Do you see how the planet has all the rings around it? Each ring would be filled with lots of rocks. Look at that. So if you were on one of the rings, that is what it would look like. Isn't that fascinating? Okay. So what comes next? We've done Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Ready? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show you some. Oh, that's the next one. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. So let's see if I have a picture of Uranus. I not very good, but I do have one. And it's next there's Saturn, and there's Uranus. A lot of the plants, now that we're farther away from the sun, are very cold, as you can imagine. So next, Neptune, It wait till you see how blue it is. It is blue. Isn't it beautiful? Woo! It's gorgeous, yes. If you lived on Pluto, that's the furthest and the last planet from the sun, it would not be nice some Astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, for the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. Ooh. And I don't think I have, oh, now wait. I do have one A Pluto. It is very cold and very far away from the sun. 
the sun would just look like a little speck in the sky. Mm -hmm. And maybe it is covered with ice, but it's hard to tell. We have seen all nine planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Metz has just served us 999 pizzas. M, V, Mallory, M, Valerie, V, Emily, E. Well, that's just a way to help somebody memorize the names of the planets. I would rather sing a song. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. We could make up a song. These are the stars. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imagination and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. So ever since people looked up into the sky to look at the stars. It almost, in many of them, looks like if you connect the stars together like a dot to dot, that they could make something. This one is called lion. This one is called bull. Ooh, this one is great bear. And that does look like a great bear. The dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. The sun is huge. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night. But like a big mirror, it reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back to the stars and take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. So did you know that the sun is a star and it looks so much bigger than the rest of the stars because it is closer to Earth than all of the other stars that you see? So someone asked me one time to explain the difference in size. If the sun was a basketball that size, the earth would be a pea. Mm -hmm. That's the difference in size between the sun and the earth. A basketball and a pea. It's big. So now we've learned about the planets and saw some pictures. I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. Until next time, bye.